today on The Real. Desserts as easy as one, two, three. And the 411 for all you M-O-N. You see an eggplant in your teen's text. Be very, very afraid. Plus, the man, the legend, is not Santa, it's Rick Ross and his wingman. The Real. drink you some water, but we're gonna keep it real for you, girl. <laughs> and before we start girl chat, I need to say happy birthday to my mama who is 77 Ooh. years old today. Love you, mama. Good. Yeah. Every day on Fox um, in Detroit. So thank you guys so much for that letting me do awesome. that. But now it's time for some girl chat. I love that. Me love. too. Yes. Check this out now. Okay. Santa has been on a health kick Ooh. in one Canadian mall. What yes. Do you mean? What do you Model mean? Paul Mason <gasps> has oh the beard but not the belly as he becomes a fashion Santa for a new ad campaign at the Yorkdale Shopping Center. Oh, oh, wow. And for every selfie taken with a picture of the fashion Santa, the center will donate one dollar to charity. What? Yeah. He's hot. So, Adrian. I think he's hot. Wait. Adrian, I know you like older men. I do. <laughs> Does this uh, fashion Santa do it for you? Okay, I'm gonna be really honest. Yes. I like older men. Yes. yes. I do. Th this, this is a little too old. <laughs> oh, what? 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 You, you got Jack Nicholson, okay, but Bill Clinton, like, like, like the weird David thing Lerman. is, it's their personalities that I really like. They're, I don't know who he is. No, I don't know. Exactly. I don't know yeah, he's funny. I don't know what Jeannie he's Ma, like. I know what you're gonna say. What? I'm, First of all, this is an atrocity, okay? No, it you is. You cannot I like have Santa eating kale too. and drinking Sam... ju green juice. That is not Santa. Right. Santa right. hopes to have a beer. He's oh, supposed to be a little fat. Love. And he... Don't take my fat person from me. That yes. is my fat person. Yes. Don't you know, know, Santa, Santa, Jean, you're like, when I know I like them older, I also like them older and just a little plump. Rounder. Rounder. Like, Santa has to, Something like, to hold on chocolate to. chip cookies stuck in his beard. And he's got to be, like, warm and huggable. And he's got to, like, smell a little bit like Ben Gay and Old Spice. Wait, am I the only one that thinks he's hot? Yes. He is. You think he's hot? I think that Santa Claus is hot. Do you guys think he's hot? I do. No. Really? I do. No, I think it's a, he looks a little No, I do. Creepy. I think he's a Santa Claus for, no. like, adults. No. For, 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 exactly. for, this for is me. Not this oh, that's not hot. That's hot. I like how he looks there. Kids, uh -uh. I will say kids will be highly disappointed. They'll be like, who is that? That's not Santa Claus. No. They, they're not Yo. gonna get it. No, Come on, you guys. You think, that, you think of a man like that slid down your chimney, you don't think like the dude from Dateline will sit there waiting for no. him? No. <laughs> I think he looks cute. That looks, no. That I don't want any Santa. guy like that See, coming down my chimney. Y'all doing too much with Y'all doing too much, okay? Leave Santa the I way like he it. is. Leave Santa I just, like uh, thank it. you. I like that. Leave Santa the way he is, fat and jolly. I like yeah. that. <laughs> For the kids. Keep them fat and jolly for the kids. Yes. I like that. All right. But it is a good thing that. that Yorkdale is doing with the charity, so thank you yes. guys at Yorkdale. That Dale is Shop really awesome. I would totally take a selfie with him. Maybe not make out with him, but definitely take, take a, a selfie. selfie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you may like an older man, but if you don't like getting older yourself, this could be for you, you guys. Botox for hands what? has become like the latest craze in Hollywood to keep your hands looking young. <laughs> yeah, handacials also include chemical peels, fillers, and laser treatments to help reduce aging and brown spots and keep your hands plump and smooth. What? So, Jeannie, what? would you get <laughs> hand Botox? Oh my god, okay, well, first of all, I have to tell you guys, Asian people 
really judge hands. Like they will legit say that if your hands look like they're aged, then you look like you've worked hard. And then if they look smooth, then you're like, you're like wealthy. Yeah, you know, like you're wealthy. You haven't touched a thing in your life. But I'm gonna tell you, I have the oldest looking hands in the world. I don't think you do. I would totally change hands with you because I have a, Hand no, complex. your hands you look guys nice. Have Instagram hands. doesn't help me when they say I have fat fingers because I already think that. Everybody on YouTube already counts the veins on my hand, and thanks Why? to everybody on Instagram, I know I have two veins on my neck when I yell. Thank you. I do too. <laughs> it's the south side of you the table what, though, thing. You know what? I will tell you this. Okay, you would I'm do it. Be real. You would do it. I would. I am not ever going to touch Botox ever again because I. I did it last season. Yeah. What? Shut up! Oh, yeah. Sorry, I thought you were about to say it. Did you hear? She goes right. Okay, we're I'm keeping asking. it real, right? I'm, I'm just being real. I'm just being real. Do you remember what I'm talking about? You guys don't know, huh? I do remember. You do remember because you I saw. I wasn't gonna say no, that. No, I didn't know. You know? Oh, you I guys know what I'm talking about? I didn't know when you did it. Like, I did. You didn't tell me. Her so face basically, wasn't moving. I was like, no way. Okay, so you guys, I'm just gonna be real, okay? So I have some wrinkles on my forehead. Yeah. And I got Botox done, and you guys, for like three months straight. Something wasn't right with yours, though. And all, it just, <laughs> my eyebrows were <laughs> stuck, and right. all it looked like was like, this is our time! <laughs> all the time. And when I, w I would talk to Adrian, I'd be like, shut up, Adrian. You're not being serious. No, one day, Only if we're gonna keep it real. Of my eyebrows were moving and it was Wait. frozen here. Wait, if we're gonna keep it real. It was like one was holding low and one was a little bit more up. It was like not. I thought Not she right. was just drunk that day. I now, was wait, like, I okay. want to clarify, because you guys, a lot of Bad. people don't know what Botox is. Can we please educate? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh, here we so go. So, you guys, people say that when you see people with smooth skin or when you see people um, with chubby cheeks like mine, they'll be like, you know, she got Botox in her cheeks. People that look like that, that have like pumped up their face, that is fillers. Okay. No, I have not yes. gotten those done. I have a fat face. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I want a skinnier I face, not I'm a fatter one. Staying away from that, because if you are two kids, I was one brow. <laughs> it was no, so bad. But I'm telling you, what Botox is, you guys, it prevents you from making the expressions that cause uh, wrinkles. So you guys, it doesn't take anything away. It doesn't add anything. It stops you from making the expressions like this. Look, look carefully. Catch that 11 right there. One, two. Okay. If I got Botox, I would not be able to do but where this is expression that, anymore. Where is that going? I don't know where it goes. It's but I know that I wouldn't body. be able to do that. I know, but that's the question. People who are doing that, or uh, that. Uh, 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 a lot, mm -hmm. all that stuff is going inside that's why exactly. their body. Yeah, and their faces and then, are frozen in an expression, and they can't move now, their face as much. What is the difference between a non-surgical facelift and Botox. Girl, I don't got all the answers. I'm not okay. sure. <laughs> but we do want to say this about Botox. I just know Botox. Much okay. Because I say this, in my this is very important. It has Same. been proven, Botox has been proven to be safe. Okay? okay. Yes. Of course. We have to make that announcement. That's why so many people are doing it. Yeah. Now, as far as for your hand, I would say save the money that you're going to spend and use some baby oil. That's what you got to do. Yes. But yes. you guys, I baby have... Oil. Botox also does other things. Like, supposedly, it can cure you from sweating. So people get Botox shots well, that was the original, in their armpits. Yeah, that was the original thing. And seven years ago, I tried it in my hands. Because you guys know I can sometimes get clammy yeah, hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did it in my hands, like, seven years ago and it I think it worked I didn't pay much attention to it and then I just never did it again because as you can see my hands are I just like you my expressions get, oh, and I'm gonna keep them from now get, on wrinkles and all can you get I agree can you get over uh can you get over Botoxed if that's a word like people yeah. who it just we live in Los looks, Angeles yeah, yeah. 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 it's I the just, people that you see that their faces are like when like, they're like this okay I don't know how to explain shiny. it like imagine if I'm trying to be happy and I'm like this is my version of both times. Like, oh my God, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so sad. I just think you should just be my face. Right. You know what? This is I'm the thing. So I sad. Think I'm crying. <laughs> you should be okay. I want to look like that. You should be okay you guys, with I, aging gracefully. Say, That's yeah, the whole rather, point. All of this talk, I like it, but you should be okay with yeah. aging gracefully. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with having a wrinkle? I'd rather, but, but I'd what rather, I am going to say is honestly, you can use Botox and age gracefully. It's the thing about doing it overboard. That's I've all. met people who have had it it's done really serious. beautifully. It just wasn't on my face. Okay. Yeah, yours That's was it. doing something. I don't know. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 
up next, if a date a night happens to lead to a walk of shame Ooh. the following morning, a kiosk at New York's Union Station I used to live right is by there. offering a helping hand. Yes. The new store has dedicated a section of the subway shop to the walk of shame, yeah. offering undies, fashion first aid tools, revitalizing juices for those who need to freshen up after their walk of shame. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay? So Lonnie, what do you think about a kiosk like this? You think it's gonna do well? Uh, Would you I ever got use my it? own kit kit. What? <laughs> I don't need to go to the store. You're like, I got a purse. What's, what's I, in no, your kit, I, Lonnie? Every single girl has her own kit. You know, the single, satisfied single, we keep our own kit in the back of the, Mine's don't have a lot. I got some eye drops, some snacks, and some Febreze. That's it. Ooh. Hold up, you guys. Have you ever seen the walk of shame on Halloween, the day after Halloween? No. Yo, yes. People are missing half of their costume. You're like, were the, were the fishnets That's ripped the before last night? Like, how did this happen? They look in. That's the best. That's the walking zombies for real. That's the best. But see, this is how they commercialize and making money off of us single ch chicks, you know? Yeah. They want to, you get your own wipes, you can get everything else yourself. Just go to the CVS yeah. the night before, you know, you <laughs> might, usually, you know, whatever, and, and do it yourself. aren't people embarrassed for people to see them when they do the walk of shame? It's going to be even more embarrassing when they're walking up to a kiosk that says walk of shame kiosk. Exactly. No, it's exactly. so weird to me. That's so true. Right? Which is why I think so maybe they could change it and like put like some fun fashion pieces, some really good Febreze and some perfume, some nice jewelry, so that you can turn it around Girl, and yes. make it on stride it's of pride. It's called the Walk of Shame kiosk. <laughs> yes. No, it shouldn't be called that because it be it's not that. a Walk of Shame. It's a good night last night. That's what it is. Okay. Well, from throwing last night's clothes on to sleeping in the nude. Oh. Oh. Research has found that <laughs> sleeping naked is actually good for you. What? Ah. Yes, it is. Aha! 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 You clapped that hard. 57% of people reported being happy in their relationship sleeping nude by their partner compared to 43% of pajama wearers and also for insomniacs Ooh. who normally have a warmer body core ditching the flannel PJs was a wow. good idea. I That's actually, I know, I agree with it. Really? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Adrian, I want to ask you, Missy. Yeah, okay, let's ask Aid. Aid. Do you I, sleep? Do you sleep in the in the nude? Sometimes. Yes, sometimes. I do. Okay, but I love sleeping in the nude. I have no problem with it. But you guys know that I love lingerie. You do, So yes. I, guys, if I'm having a bad day, I am the first girl to be like, where's Victoria's Secret? <laughs> like, it's what makes me feel better to have a clean house, to light some candles, to listen to good music, and have on pretty pajamas. I love lingerie. I don't put it on for anybody else. I like wearing lingerie for myself. Yes. But once the lingerie comes off, it stays off. Yes. Okay. okay. And I, then in that case, I like to cuddle and sleep in the nude. I don't, I, okay, wait, I, I just want to know because I keep hearing people like to sleep in the nude and I'm not used to it. I just want to understand if I'm the only one that's not I love normal. it. How many people here at the table included sleep in the nude? Raise your hand. <laughs> For real? Everything? Not everything. every night though. No, I, I will not sleep every naked. night. I will say because I'm a nursing mom, this is already. sleep in the nude. Which one? Both of them! I will never be able to look at you the same. I'm gonna look at you even better. Okay, now, I have oh, to say, well, as, a, as a nursing mom, I'm already like halfway there. Yeah, you don't wear Because uh, well, this is too much, Set right? free, girl. But I have learned something from you, Miss Adrian. Yes. What? When you're tired and you know, you, you, you wanna, my husband wants to, you know, get it on, the best way to get out of your fatigueness, if that's a word, yep. is to sleep naked. Because for me, when you're just like, when you're, when you're rubbed what? up. What I told when you. When you're rubbed up. What I told all you. All each other, it wakes you up. And then like you get this. the feeling, and then before you know it. Yeah, but before you know it, you were tired, and now you're like, it works. When it comes to fashion, trends come and go, so you should never spend mad money on them. But there are certain staples that stand the test of time, and those are well worth your money. So today, we're going beyond that little black dress and showing you which clothing items to invest in wisely. You heard me. We're going on a smart splurge. <laughs> OK, let's 
get this started with our first model. She's rocking a fashion staple that has been around for years and is here to stay. Come on out. Denim, make it a dark wash. The best part about them is regardless of your silhouette, they're super slimming and they could be worn for a wider range of events or occasions than other denim washes. I, like I just it. love the fact that they can be dressed up or down. So in my book, they're a keeper. These are $70 from Saks Off Fifth and they are worth the splurge. Yes, they are. Yes, Would you agree? Like a glove. Yep. Thank you, girl. Well, our next model is going to show us a fashion staple that is often confined to an office setting, but she's getting ready to prove that wrong. Mm -hmm. Come on out. <laughs> Every woman needs a great blazer. What makes it a staple is that it's one of those pieces that can pull together any outfit. It can be dressed up with a suit or dressed down with jeans and a t shirt. Get it tailored to fit your specific body, and whether you go glam or casual, you'll look like you have all your stuff together. Yeah. Like me. <laughs> so, you know, we splurged on this one, Jeannie. It cost $399. Oh, is that a lot? That is crazy, no. but that's a good investment because yeah. you wear it with every outfit. Yep. Does Got it have it. leather trimming on the yeah. front? Oh, yes, that it is does. Sick. You can get it from Bloomingdale's, and trust, it is not a bad price, like Jeannie said, because you can wear it. For, and it lasts forever. You can yeah. just wear it it's with anything and it lasts. Yeah. And you can wear it so many different ways. It's exactly. so dope. I Good would job, agree. Girl. I love it. I would agree. Now, our last model is showing us that your feet can get in on the action, too. Check her out. You should definitely splurge on a good pair of ankle booties. Ooh. Ankle boots are everything, you guys. Cheap ones can stain, fall apart, and leave your tootsies out in the cold. Investing one time in a well-made pair can actually save you from having to replace them over and over again. Okay. So we picked these booties up for $299 oh, from Saks Off Fifth, which is not bad at all. That's for a really good. pair of boots? Those look like they'd be worth like 800 and up. Exactly. That's really good. Mm -hmm. It's all in the details and the leather, and that's a really well-made boot. So it's wow. all about investing, you guys. That's how you smart splurge. <laughs> With these staples in your closet, you have limitless options at your fingertips. If you're a mom, you know it's harder than ever before to keep up with today's kids. They're always trying to get one over on us. Between social media, all the latest apps, hashtags, acronyms, and crazy talk they call English, what's a mama to do? Well, have no fear, because help is near. It's time for Mom 411. <laughs> Let's see if we can help a mom out. <laughs> Rena from Orlando needs our help. Roll it. Hi ladies, my name is Rena. I'm from Orlando. I have twin 16 year old sons who do a lot of texting. And they text a peach emoji, an eggplant emoji, and an alien emoji. What do those mean and should I be worried? <laughs> oh no! Ooh girl! <laughs> Some of these might make you blush, so just stay with me, all right? Work with me on this. Anytime you see what looks like a peach in your teen's text, Ooh. it means pretty much what it looks like. Someone's backside or a bum, for lack of a better word. Now, if you see an eggplant in your teen's text messages, oh, girl, be afraid. Be very, very afraid. The eggplant emoji is a symbol for the, um, the male reproductive body part, you know, the baby-making part. And the purple space invader alien you've been seeing is another way for a guy to pretty much say to a girl that he wants to invade her space. You catch what I'm meaning? Yeah? All right, well, all three of these point to S-E-X, so you definitely want to stay on it. Ooh. Let's see who else needs help from the Mom 411 crew. Next up is Maricela from Los Angeles. Roll it. Hi, my name is Maricela Bella and I'm from Long Beach, California. I have two teenage boys that I constantly hear on the phone saying, being extra, snatch, and thirsty. I want to know what that means. Can you please help me out? 
Oh my gosh, Maricela, okay, I feel you. I'm gonna try to break these down to you as easy as possible, okay? So being extra means like you're doing too much or like you're putting on a show. Think of like someone being like overly dramatic, okay? The next two terms aren't as easy. When you hear one of your sons say like someone was snatched, it means they saw a girl whose body looked amazing. It can be a compliment. If you hear them say the word thirsty, it doesn't mean they want a glass of water. That most likely refers to somebody who is acting desperate. I hope that helps you out. That's all the time we have now, but thanks to all the moms and their questions. This year's had many highs and lows for our next guest, but he ends 2015 on a high note. His latest album, Black Market, features powerhouses such as John Legend, Mariah Carey, and Mary J. Blige. That's why he's the boss. Give it up for Rick Ross. <laughs> That was awesome of you. Now, not too long ago, we were talking about who we would want to play us in a movie. Like, if you had to, you know, do our bio and take a look at who Lonnie picked. If you guys had a movie about yourself, who would you want to play you, dead or alive? Rick Ross. That's who I want to play me. Let's 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 there's a movie made about you, mm. who would you want to play uh, you? Just off the top of the head, let's... let's yes. Who a big boy? I, I, I'm a fan of Mike Tyson actor. Oh! oh. That's a good okay. one. That's yeah. a good one. That's a really yeah. good one. I believe that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now... Just grow the beard. He's got to grow yeah, the beard. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I love that. And get the words down, because he... Hey! Lonnie! That's Mike Tyson. Lonnie and Lonnie. I love Mike, too. Come on, let's go, Mike. Imagine him trying to do the huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Uh, okay. We yeah. gotta throw a big congrats out to Mr. Rick Ross, too, because he just got engaged, you guys. Yeah. Okay. So, Rick, we are dying to hear. Tell us about the lucky lady. Oh, she's a, a beautiful person, a very close, close person of mine. You know? Ah, you guys have known each other for a while. Yeah, you know, it's just our bond. The bond is, you know, the chemistry is most definitely there, and it's something that you gotta appreciate. Yeah. yeah. Can I, I just want to ask, how did you do it? Because I just, I, I, you're, you're like the guy who can make anything happen. Right, how right, is this right. the biggest yeah. boss that right? you've seen exactly. thus far? Like, <laughs> seriously. <Is that> Joe? <laughs> how did you propose? You know, you know, I kept it bossy, kept it okay. classy. Okay. I kept it simple. Uh huh. Oh. I just took it to the Diamond District and said, here we are. <laughs> well, 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 wow. Let's do this. Let's yes, do this. Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not looking forward to getting married, but I would definitely move in with you because you got enough room. You got a mansion with a hundred, a, a state Ooh. with 100 rooms. Guys, legit. Look at that. A hundred rooms. What? Legit. Have you been to every room? I haven't, not yet. You not haven't? Yet. Not yet. Uh, every not... bathroom? Not yet. <laughs> I'm working on it. We could move in, you know, and he wouldn't even know we there. <laughs> yeah. He definitely <laughs> wouldn't know I'm there. As a matter of fact, me being the boss, we could tape there. We oh, could tape yes. our show. Wait. 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 Hold on. Wait. 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 Are you being serious? Oh, my God. Wait. 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 Maybe on schedule nights only. On oh, schedule oh, nights? Okay, nice. we can do that schedule then. Nice. Okay. Slumber party at Rick's house! <laughs> All right, so I have a question. Which room are we taping in? Because the question is, what is your favorite room in the house so far? Ooh, that's a good one. My favorite room has to be the 
um, my office. Okay. okay that's, oh, that's where the money goes. That's goes. A good room. Yeah, yeah, that is a good room. What, what is the in the office? It's maybe from, from there to... Yeah, maybe that. It's Your bigger office? than our yeah. room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have any cameras yo. to cover that what? space. Your office is as big as this set. Yes, yeah. that's what he said. You, the man didn't, didn't stutter. <laughs> <laughs> See, you know you got money. We can go. It's about from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. my God. Wow. <laughs> I am so excited. <laughs> we good. It's already worked out. We have I am going to wear. <laughs> Everything good. Everything I can't good. wait. Well, this year has had a lot of ups with the house and yes. the engagement. Right. And there's also been a lot of downs. Right. Because there was a dark time alone in jail for you. Right. So I just want to know, for a man who seems so celebratory, yes. how did those experiences shape your new album, Black Market? Mm. You know, I just, I told myself that I would take this time alone and, 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 and really spend it with myself, something that I, I never really did. And, you know, the music that came from it, I feel really speaks volumes. Um, you know, I was just so direct. I opened up in so many different ways. You know, when you go from, you know, flying several million miles a year to, you know, when everything just stopped, mm -hmm. you really get to sit back and realize the impact you have on others. Wow, mm -hmm. wow. Not just myself, but, you know, so many people that depended on me. And, you know, I felt I let down, even though I was in the situation I felt was beyond my control. And, you know, we will put behind us, you know, and, and move forward. But it was most definitely a learning experience that I didn't let break me. Oh, that's Dope. right. Dope. The best way to learn. Don't well, let it break you, though. No, 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 I didn't. I have to say, you look great. Thank you, thank you. You lost, you lost some weight. Yes, yeah. 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 What's most important is you kept it off, and right. that's sometimes harder to do, right. to it keep is. the weight off. It so is. I know you own uh, Wing Stop Wings. <gasps> Tamar always talks about that place. I love it. Girls talk about those yes. things like yes. the lemon what? pepper is on for yeah. So I know yes. you love lemon pepper. I know you love wings. How did you give those up? You know, I never gave the wings up. Okay. I never I gave up the sodas, the rice, okay. the okay. bread. Okay. The wing stop ain't never go nowhere. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but see, what I, what I did do was I had to boss my game up a little bit. Okay. You know, to keep people from seeing me as much. <laughs> I went out and I hired me a wingman. Oh, okay. Right, right? Okay. So when you think I may be in one franchise eating at one uh -huh. time, I'm really at another. Ooh. Oh. But I didn't leave you hanging because you, you ran into my wingman Jay over here, you did. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh so, you never leave empty-handed. You oh, get, oh you get the God. best wings, and you either run into me, the boss, uh -huh. or you oh, meet my wingman, Jay. Got it. Oh, wow. <laughs> and that's why he's the boss, lady. Everybody, give it up to Rick Ross. We've all been there when a taste for something sweet is calling your name. Yes. But who really has time to be in the kitchen baking all day? I know I don't. Well, I'm getting ready to make your life a whole lot easier. Today, we're teaching you some recipes that will have you in and out of the kitchen this holiday season in no time because they contain only three ingredients. What? I'd like to say these recipes are just as easy as one, two, three. Get ready for some sweet sweets. Gonna go first. I'm making hazelnut chocolate cake. Doesn't Ooh, that sound amazing? Yes. Wow. Yes. I know. Here are the three ingredients. You're actually gonna need this is so easy, you can make this at home. You're gonna need some flour, boom. Okay. Some hazelnut spread. Okay. Folks have that. And you Keep guys have everything low, don't you? There you go. Hey. <laughs> and you also need some eggs, you guys. Boom. 
All right, guys. Now, let me show you how easy this is to make. All you have to do is beat two cups of hazelnut, just like this. Okay. Get that in there. Oh, that looks so oh, good. Uh, oh, you're gonna actually good. just get two good. cups of hazelnut <laughs> spread into a bowl just like this. Okay. And then you're gonna add to this four eggs in a large bowl. Boom. Now, you guys can actually hand whisk it, which is easy, but uh, I'm gonna be really lazy and just do it with the electric <laughs> mixer. You're gonna be like smart. Like that. Yes, yes. Next, set your mixer to the side and put in about three quarter cups of all purpose flour, you guys, until it's combined well. Okay. So you're just gonna put that in there just a little bit at a time. <laughs> Get that right back going. Yeah, now, please. once it's all mixed up, you're actually gonna pour it all into a greased and parchment lined eight inch pan just like this. Let me just get a little bit more in there, mix it up just a little bit more. And then you guys, you're gonna take this and you're gonna put it in here, like I just said. Boop. Yo, oh, yummy. That and just so bake good. this at 350 degrees for about 40 minutes. Then you guys, what? This should come out. You ready? Show us. Boom. Ooh. Now, pop it out of the pan and put it onto a plate just like this, and you're gonna frost it with some more of your hazelnut chocolate spread, just like this. You're gonna put that up there. Three ingredients, that's That was it. it, three ingredients. And when wow. you're done, you guys, get ready to sink your teeth into some chocolatey goodness. It should look just like this. Boom! Yeah. Now, you know I made extra for my mm. girls to taste and their mouths have been watering. Mm -hmm. How is it? Mm -hmm. It's so mm -hmm. good! Mm -hmm. All right. I know. Wait, I don't have a spoon. Not that I need one. Well, I hope you girls have some more room in your tummy because I got another sweet coming right up. I'm making a fluffy pumpkin delight. So you're gonna need these three ingredients. You need some melted pumpkin ice cream, some self-rising flour, and some marshmallow cream. That's about it. That's all you need, these three ingredients. First, oh, here we go. You beat one pint of melted pumpkin ice cream in a bowl like this. It's already melted. Mm. And then you take about two cups of self-rising flour like that, and then you're gonna whisk it. Whisk it really well. And now, all you have to do is, once it's all mixed really well, you add it to an eight-inch grease and flour cake pan. And you're gonna add it in there. Spread it out. And you're gonna, you, we would need a little more ice cream, but that's fine. This is just for demonstrating purposes only. You bake it for 30 minutes at 350 degrees, mm -hmm. okay. and it will come out. Like? Like Ooh. this. Ooh. And once it's done, you're gonna add the marshmallow cream to it, just Love. like this. Marshmallow and you just fluff. added three cups of marshmallow <laughs> fluff, Love like it. this one. And here's one last step, and it's serious, y'all. It re is really serious because this oh, is the step Lord. I like to do. What are you Whoa. doing, Lonnie? Well, we want to make the marshmallow, mm, mm, you know, nice and toasty, right? Oh, so Lord. what we're gonna do is use this culinary torch. That's what they Lonnie, call be it. Be careful where you put that. It's fine, thing. and you just. Oh, look at you! There you go. See, so you, you just. That's how they yeah, do it. Yeah, that's how they do it. Fancy. But you want to, you know, if you don't have a torch, you can use a boiler for five to ten seconds okay. and you'll get the same effect. But I don't want anybody to hurt themselves. So if you don't know how to do this, so you see I got these glasses because I want to keep my job. So don't burn the cake or nothing like okay. that. And can you burn it. Can we try it, Lonnie? Huh? Can we try it now? You sure can. Okay. It's going to come out like this. Mm. Oh, wow. Slice it on up. And just three try ingredients. It. Three ingredients. Three ingredients. It's, it's great. Give it a taste. Wait, I want to taste some of yours too. Taste some. Look, I'm tasting some of your burnt marshmallow part. It's so good. Oh my God, that is toasted marshmallow on top. <laughs> and that's how you get in and out of the kitchen what? in a